Hi, we're Piers and Andy from Me and My Golf, and you've joined us on the Watson course at Reunion Golf Resort in Orlando, Florida. And we're on the 15th hole. Beautiful par three, nice Andy. Nice par three, Piers, lovely. Yeah, beautiful. And we're talking about the importance of knowing how far you hit your golf clubs. Now, Andy, great subject. We see some mixed responses, don't we, on this? We do, yeah. When golfers come and see us for lessons, we'll often ask them, Piers, how far they hit a particular club. And then when we test them, the numbers are, are very different and I think the majority of golfers out there think they hit it a little further than they do. Now look, in this situation you need to know your number. We've got a par 3 with a lot of danger short, so I really need to know exactly how far, far my ball is going to carry. Yeah, and I think look, the, the thing is it's a really good thing to do in general throughout your game, no matter what sort of course that you play, you need to know how far you're going to hit your irons and your driver to, uh, to get the most out of your game. Now look, the best way we like to do this is making sure that you log how far you hit these golf clubs on a consistent basis. So by using the 18 Birdies app, going into the My Bag section, you can actually fill in how far you think you hit these golf clubs at this stage. Now the beauty of this is you can just do that once, but that obviously can change throughout time. So the more rounds that you play, the more shots that you hit using the shot tracker, that allows you to constantly update how far you're hitting these golf clubs, which is just great information, isn't it? Andy? It is, yeah. Look, the best players in the world know to like one, two, three yards exactly how far they hit the golf club, and that's just experience, Pierce. Yeah. So what's great about the digital caddy in the 18 Birdies app, it will actually start to recommend the right club based on your results. Mm -hmm. And the more rounds you play, then the more consistent that's going to be. But look, what's going to make it even more consistent is making sure we strike the golf ball at the centre. If we can find the middle a little bit more consistently, those numbers and those recommendations are going to be even more important. Yes, and ball striking is so key, obviously, when it comes to hitting these distances. We'll come back to that in a moment. The good thing about the digital caddy as well is it factors in weather and elevation. So you can see here on the 15th, we have an elevation. So it's actually going to recommend the club based on this slope that we have Probably here. one more on this one as well, I'd say. I would say so. Right now, look, ball striking. It is really key. The more we can fine tune that, the more accurate these distances are going to be. Do we have a drill? We have a fantastic drill that's going to help you strike the golf ball better. So Andy, what have we got going on here? Well, we've <laughs> got you just dropped. <laughs> you dropped your golf bag on the floor or something? I think I've got to hit a golf ball as well between <laughs> these bits. So look, we've got a station here, strike station, and this is really going to help train two things, Pierce. It's going to help train a centered strike from heel to toe, hopefully, and then we've got uh, a towel behind us here, which is actually going to help us interact with the ground a little bit better. We want to make sure that we can get the ball followed by the turf, because we all know that if we hit the turf first, especially on a shot like this, Pierce, it's going to end up short. So if we can improve the interaction with the ground yep. by getting the ball followed by the turf and then hopefully get it a little more centred, that's going to improve the overall consistency of the distances that we hit with the clubs. Okay, so what we're saying is if you miss everything, yep. you'll probably hit the ball out the centre and then hit a little divot after the golf ball and it's going to be a perfect shot. So it's going to persuade me to practice better, this is like basically. It. So what we've got here, we've got a towel on the ground folded up and we've got four golf balls here. All we're going to do is Pierce are going to remove those three and the idea of this is really to help me move the bottom of the golf swing to more after the golf ball, if I actually sort of bottom out too early, my club's going to hit the towel. Now we want to make sure that I can move towards the target, strike the golf ball first, and then get the divot after. So this is going to persuade me to get it moving this way. Pierce. Yes, love it. The head covers here, as you can see, are fairly tight there. There's a bit of room in there, Pierce, but this is really going to help train me that centered strike. If I swing a little bit over this side here and get too much towards the heel, I'm going to hit the cover. If I go too much towards the toe, I'm going to hit the cover. So there's a lot, a lot of things to miss here, but if we set this up on the, on the driving range, you're going to find that you're going to find the centre a little bit more. Yeah, don't get doing this on the golf course. It may take a little bit too much time, but once you've got this set on the driving range, it's a really good station to repeat, 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 repeat. All right, what, you've got seven iron here? Seven iron, Pierce. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get it as close as it's I can. It's a tough but shot, you know. It is a tough shot. You know yeah. this is tough, yeah? It is. Okay, so all I'm going to make sure I do here is set myself up as normal, and I'm going to do my best to miss everything here, Pierce. I might even track this one if it's a good one. Beautiful contact there, Andy. That's actually looking middle of the green. And that's safe, pretty good. I think you should start tracking I'll start that tracking that sure. one now. Okay, look, so really important you understand how far you hit your distances. You know how to use the app. We'll see you soon.